Hi guys, today is our final chapter 14 of, uh, of our IO retraining deployment. Uh, after this, we have one more hands on session on the call flow which we created on the chapter 1. Uh, but that is more practical, and this is the last theoretical chapter we have. Now, deployment is again the important step of any project or any applications because once you deploy uh, with code or do the development, it has to be deployed. Okay, so there are two components we have to know before understanding the deployment. One is how we can convert a particular Tomcat or any of the application server into OD or OD, yeah, you can say via OD AB specific Tomcat so that uh, once you deploy a var file over there, it can be understand and the information can be exchanged between the OD and the AB. Okay. Now, first we will understand the runtime jar or support files which is required. Okay. So select on export and go to the via OD, select uh, support files, click on next. Okay. You can select the which Tomcat you are using, let's say 789 or IBM Epsphere and all those things. So you can select this one, you can select the specific location that you want to generate. So I select the videos, okay. Uh, I can click on next. Are you using any of the web services uh, earlier trick to access? No. Do you require AS connector? This is specific to your um, CTI. Click on finish. So it should generate you a zip file. So a zip file, okay, uh, which you can extract. So what it will contain is basically the jar files, okay, and the related config files. So if I go to the live and you can see, so right click uh, US details. So you will see that all the jars have files, access and all those things which is using log 4 j files. Trusted files, TCP file, and all those things are generated. Now, what you have to do is Control C, go to your Tomcat. So let's say this is the uh, Tomcat. Okay, we will go to our lib and do copy paste. Okay, and replace the files which has already common there. So you can see all the files are getting copied over here. Okay, so this is done. Now the next part is generate the war file. Again, go back to right click on the proper project, export, click on expand, click on speech project, click on next, click on next. Okay, now which platform we are deploying? Usually we are deploying for AEP so that we will select which Tomcat we have. We have selected nine. Grammar capability, which type of speech recognizer you are using based on that you have to select if you are using nuance if you are using google speech if you're using uh, microsoft all this thing since we are using nothing we will select srgs literal select over here uh, you can select do you want to include the source code in your war file increase the size do you want to include meta file all those things we don't require anything reset yeah that is perfectly fine click on next we will come over here and click on finish so what it will do it will generate you the war file uh, so let's go to our location so you can see the war file is generated right so this activity is completed you can see the war file now either you can use resource manager from the tomcat uh, or you can directly come to your Tomcat, go to web apps and paste your war file over here and restart the Tomcat. That will deploy your uh, uh, this particular OD application over there. Now how you can access is usually you for access, right? You have to give something like so HTTP, okay, so let's say your Tomcat is hosted at localhost 8080, okay, now basically your path will be this one, and then start, so cop copy and paste this page uh, uh, 
to the tom uh, to the browser and it should give you the start page with our logo on it if you see that means your deployment is success now you can use this same URL into the AEP for the configuration. So yeah, so this is with all respect to the deployment. Uh, if you have any queries or comment, please put into the YouTube's comment section. I'll also, I'll also uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.